I'm just about putting on, uh, putting on the finishing touches for my uh, magician special uh, uh, street magic. But before you guys get to see that, um, courtesy of some technical glitches, I figured uh, I'd release to you guys my newest card trick. I learned this from a bio prof at, co at my college, and to the best of my knowledge, it's never been shown on YouTube. So first time for everything. Um, I'm going to try to position the camera in such a way you can actually see the cards, and with any luck, this will work. Okay, now what I have here is a completely ordinary deck of cards, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these, just like this. I'm just going to shuffle them up quickly, move this dumbass card out of the way. And I am going to do a technique um, where I flip up the cards, and I'm going to go from the equivalent number in the pile all the way up to king. So it'll go as follows. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Okay, next, ten, jack, queen, king. And basically what I'm doing is I'm counting up to the number which would be equivalent to king, not necessarily if there's a king on top. Nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Jack, queen, king. Um, let's see if I've got enough space in here. There we go. Nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Oof, I think we're getting, uh, this is going to be a little bit more quick than I thought. Okay, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. And right over here, seven, eight, Nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Huh. Okay. That well, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to flip over all the piles. What we're going to do is we're going to flip these all over. So that should have a really good distribution. Just give it a sec while I set these all up. While this happens, I'm now going to select three piles completely at random out of the entire piles that we have here. Uh, so just for convenience sake, I'll just take the three in cam most in camera view. So one, uh, sorry, um, one, two, three. Yeah, no, hang on. Yeah, one, two, three. So I'll just take these three and I'll set the others completely out on the side here. So just the three most in camera view. These ones go over here. Now, the thing is I have them in a pile over here so you can see where they are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip over the first two here. We flip over the top cards. The sum of those is 13, which is equivalent to a kit, uh, which is, that's the 13. Now what I do is I add 10 to that and I count that final sum out of this pile here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I add 10 to that which becomes 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Now I count out the remaining cards and it should be equivalent to this last card over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I flip that over and it becomes a 9. So I don't know whether that's magic or mathematics, but it's fun either way.